special floor. There should be assembly that the priests and the pastors gather the people and we'll have a meeting and we're going to encourage each other. Hey, God coming soon. Come on, somebody. Amen. How are we going to hear that? Because we hear that from the dream. We hear that from Dominic's life. We hear that from the book from Kahele. God give us dreams and vision. I'm going to show you how the word operates. So God says, show us so far. Get out the people, the priests, encourage and fast and pray for the congregation. Pray for the people and encourage one another. Hey, everybody, God coming soon. You guys heard about Koli Tree. You heard about Kahele's book. Hey, people getting married. People coming to Jesus Christ. People being baptized. God is speaking violent. God is using all these um, um, angles of God's return. God is speaking to people. God is speaking to dreams and vision. God is changing the hearts of man. I cannot change your heart. Only God can. Man. We all have a will. You can live in the darkness if you like. You can live in the light if you want. God is changing the heart of men and women around the world. God said, I send more people. Get ready. Come on, everybody. Man. Get ready. Papa is coming soon. Papa coming. Amen. 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 Prepare your hearts, church. Yes. This verse that I'm going over next, it's a revelation of prophecy of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Look at verse 28. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids and upon those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders. You see that? I will show wonders in the heaven and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Dominic's dream, he was getting caught up and there was fire all on earth. As he was coming up, he was getting caught up with the rapture. He dreamed that there was fire. God's word explained the same dream that confirmed God's voice. Amen. I guess you. Yeah. Jesus. He couldn't orchestrate the, the dream without understanding the word of God. His dream and the word match. God's word is flawless because everything that God says to dreams and things, he said, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. I'm prophesying right now according to God's scripture. We are singing right now. We're going to get together because God is coming. So we need to prepare ourselves. We need to encourage one another. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hey, heaven's mom, accept this, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm doing my job. You need to do your job. It's a seven of that guys. God coming soon. Kevin, we will talk to your mom today. Kevin, today was a pivotal point for his mom. Even though she knew about Jesus, but when she confessed and accepted Jesus, that seals it. Her name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. That Amen. It. It's a done deal. Come on, church. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As we are assembling, we encourage one another. We're helping one another. That God is coming soon. Sound the shofar. Blow the trumpet. Encourage one another, church. Yeah. Dreams and visions. Verse 21. The sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Everybody knows about the eclipse. The eclipse, when it crosses over with the sun, the moon gonna turn red. It talks about the blood moon. 
those God said in the book, I will show you signs in the heaven and on the earth. God will give you dreams and visions. God will bring testimonies of exalt God's grace. We're going to start to hear the, the, the urgency, church, of us preparing and gathering the sheep and having them on assembly, preparing our hearts, preparing our, make sure you're doing what is right. Check your deeds, make sure you're walking straight with God. When you look at the, the season and purpose of God's plan, and I'm not just talking about the testimony, but I'm saying that what is the plan of the testimony? Cool it. When she got married, then God started to use her dreams and vision. Before that, she had nothing. She had to make her heart right. And then the dream came that when in her dream, thousands of people was falling from heaven, they wasn't making up. Her heart is right, her life is in order. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. We gotta be in order. We have to have structure based on the word of God. Wisdom give us order in the house that we make the right choices for our family and our loved ones. Honor. Amen, church? Amen. So we see, when we live in our life right, God will give you dreams and visions. Some of you, you got to get your life right. I'm not saying that you're not living right, but we got to think about what I'm saying. we got to make our hearts right. we got to live right, talk right, and, and think right. Amen? Because I'm thinking right, I'm going to speak right. When I'm thinking right, all junk coming out of my mouth. Amen. I want to speak life. No matter what, it looks like no matter what my family said, no matter what my, my, my family is doing, it doesn't matter what it matters to us that we speak right, that when we speak, we speak a blessing upon our family. Even though it doesn't look good, I'll tell you something. Look at you today, God will turn you around. Thank you. Use more words than the people you're looking at. Amen. 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 Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> but look at ourselves. Sometimes we've got to examine yourself. Amen. Amen. Church? Amen. Gonna examine yourself. Gonna get amen? Amen. 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 You guys heard the story? I'm gonna tell you this again. This this uh, couple, there was in the kitchen and the husband was looking across the street and he's telling him, hey, the ladies laundry all dirty. <laughs> so the wife looked at him, she didn't say nothing. He come home from work the next day, hey hon, hon, look who laundry, more dirty. The wife still must say nothing. She, she, you know why she not? She praying for the husband. <laughs> he come on, the third day. You look confused. Hey, hon. You ain't nobody to go wash the ladies' clothes. The wife tell him, no, I wash your window. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Jesus. <laughs> we need spiritual glasses. Yeah. <laughs> We look at other people's dirty laundry, you should look at your own laundry. Amen. Wash your own windows. <laughs> so you can see right, and you can speak right, and you can think right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Go to Acts chapter 2. We're going to confirm Joel chapter 2. We're going to Acts chapter 2. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. Acts chapter 2, verse 17. And again it says, And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith the Lord, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants, and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days for my spirit, and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness 
and the moon unto blood before that great and noble day of the Lord shall come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. We're going to trials and tribulations. The sun gonna turn dark because the moon gonna clip them, and the moon gonna turn into blood. Those are signs. God said, "I'm gonna show you signs in the heaven," and God gonna show you. We've seen a lot of volcanoes interrupting today all over the world. We've seen fires. We cannot blame the ozone. God's word was written before the ozone got worse. Amen. Those are all prophecies. Because man greedy, this is why the ozone is where it is. But God said, because of that, we're seeing the ozone change. But this is watching Pastor Lucy, watching the news. The tourists, they all run into Alaska and they all take a fish and get land now, get dirt, get rocks. They only get a little bit ice there. Everything is melting because of the ozone. God's word says, it shall come to you. Yes. What you see is a is a is a prophecy of God's word. God said all of this gonna come to pass. Vapors, smoke, things burning, volcanoes interrupting, killing, chaos, the spirit of lawlessness, lawlessness running wild, children killing parents. You see this? God is showing us as believers, according to the word of God, He said, I'm going to show you signs in heaven and on earth. So you cannot make an excuse, well, I never know. Today might be the most important sermon of your life. Now you know I did my job. Amen. That your heart and your life be right with God. Today is not supper, supper. Let your heart be right with God. God's word says in Job, let's assemble each other. Let's encourage each other. Let's encourage each other. Hey, everything is happening. Hey, I like it, man. Hey, I like it, God. Hey, you got to, hey, God coming soon. I want to make it right. I want me, my babies, and my family all make it to heaven. Amen. Amen. God is using that James to go there to, to Dominic. He died and he stood alive. Why he stood alive? Because him and his wife spoke the word. Amen. Kaheli said he had to learn how to speak again. He had to speak heavenly language. We had to speak blessings instead of curse. We need to change the way we talk. We need to change the way we think. Your mindset has to change. We talked about that last week. Not be conformed. We don't want to be conformed to this world. But we need to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Your mind has is playing a big part in your decisions. If you can renew your mind on a daily basis, it will help you to mature. Even though you go through trials and your tribulation, it helps mature you. It, your trials makes your road narrow. Before your road was wide, you're doing whatever you like, you're doing whatever you like, you're doing whatever you like. Now God has narrowed down your world, your road. <laughs> now you're on this narrow road to righteousness. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Before I knew God, I was running on my <laughs> I was God. Until I found the true living God. Then I know that God has called all of us for his plan and purpose. Every one of you has a purpose for God. You're not an accident. God said, I knew you before you were born, before you were conceived from your mother's womb. I already knew you. God had a plan for your life. If you continue reading the word of God, you will start to see the plan. You are marvelously and wonderfully made. God Amen. made mistakes. Don't let the devil lie to you. Amen? Amen. You might make mistakes, but you are not a mistake. Are you guys hearing me? We all make mistakes. But the more you learn in the growth, the less mistakes you make because you know better today. You're matured Man. and you're growing. Everything is blessings for you because you have matured in the way you think, in the way you talk, in the way you observe things. 
Now life is better because you're in a safe place where God wants you to be. He has narrowed down your door and the borders is there to protect you from going outside of the road. God has a border for you. Stay in your lane. Don't cross the lane. Amen? Amen. And somebody cross your front of you, don't give them the number one finger. Let that <laughs> guy go. Amen? Amen. Let God bring the best out of you, but Satan will try to bring out the worst in you. Are you guys hearing me? Amen. The devil is real. The devil is a spirit without a body. And he cannot do nothing until you allow him. Negative. Hey, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So as we look at the coming, God said, it shall come to pass. That's me, that what we see, what we hear through the testimony. God's word said, God promised, but anytime you see that Bible, it shall come to pass. God's word is, I would say, the accuracy. The accuracy of God's word shows his character. The accuracy of when God says something, it shall come to pass. We start to see the dreams and the visions, the testimony. We, we, we sing the testimony of Kahele's book. We need to take this seriously. Kahele, when he went to hell, he knew that there was a God and there is a hell. I had my mentor when I, when I was in prison. His name was Chaplin Borges. He was my mentor. He was my pastor when I was in prison. Before he died, God gave him, God gave him one dream when he was in hospital. In his dream, he went to hell. And when he went to hell, he said, that's the word I was preaching in hell. You know, these roads are hell. The principality of the world is Satan. Amen. He said he went to hell and he was preaching. He said, you come and you stay. Because he looked at the obedience of God. He said he was preaching in hell. He was seeing people that will make them, some people that not will make them. Because people still don't believe. Everybody in hell, they still don't believe that there is a God. Kaheli knew when he went to hell, he knew the scriptures. He knew God was real. And he was a, a baby believer. But when he went to hell, the scriptures came alive. Man, God is real. Your choice is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to First Thessalonians, chapter five. First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse one. But of the time and the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Stop right there. He wrote that there's a time and a season. There's a time and a season for this book to be written. There's a time and a season of your life. There's a time and a season for dreams and vision. There's a time and a season to take the Lord's Supper. It says that. There's a, it says that there's a time and a season. Verse 2. For yourself, know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come in as a thief in the night. For when for when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction comes upon them as a travail, travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. They said, in the end time, all these trials and tribulations, it's like giving birth, a woman giving birth. We're all going to go through these pains and a suffering in life. There's going to be a giving birth in what we're seeing today. And when there's a giving birth, there's a breakthrough in our life, church. Can I get amen? Amen. God using all of this, he said, there's going to come a time and a season, church. We need to prepare ourselves. It's, it's coming a time, dreams and vision, and y'all being here is a sign of God's return. Can I get amen? Amen. amen. Verse 6. <laughs> 
verse 5. As you are all the children of the light and the children of day, we are not of the light nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others, but let us watch and be sober. All of you are the watchmen for God. Watchmen mean I'm going to watch how the economy is going. I'm going to watch the weather. Now I'm going to watch the spirit of lawlessness. God will show you things. Be sober, because if you're not sober, you're going to be drunk in the spirit. Some of us will make some drunk spiritual mistakes. You're not drunk, you're not drunk with wine or alcohol. You're drunk with bad decisions that you're making. This is why we need to know more and more about the Word of God to get more wisdom and more knowledge so we can make more spiritual sound decisions and not make spiritual mistakes. You can be drunk by not making the right decisions for you, for your family, for your walk with God and your faith. Amen. We need to be sober. You need to be the watchman. If we say to the dreams and the visions, to the books of Kahele, it says everything is a time and a season why we're here, why people want to get baptized, why people want to get married, why the dreams and the vision, why why Dominic died, why he's still alive. There's a time and a season and a plan and a purpose for your Amen. life and my life. Amen. We need to be ready. It says that we've got to stop sleeping. Some of us in the church are sleeping. Hey, not to come, relax, live for the world, talk like the world, be like the world. Please, mm -hmm. church, this might be the most important sermon of your life. God yeah. said, wake up, church. Wake up. Be sober. Be watchful. Yeah. I'm showing you signs. I'm showing you to dreams of vision. I'm showing you to my book. It is a time and a season we're in right now. Yeah. Our generation. We should prepare ourselves for the second coming of the Messiah. Sound the shofar of the return yeah. of God to take kingship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> God's character. And God's word never changes. God's character and his word never changes. But God said he shall come to pass. Church, for me, there's an urgency. When I started to read the book, and you should sure go read the book, and you should read church, even there's an urgency that God might come to me, and God might come to me. We need to prepare you. My job is to prepare you so you can prepare yourself. You don't get right to heaven on my ticket. <laughs> oh, this is really hang up negative. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Because when you go to the judgment seat, you're going to have to stand there by yourself. Yeah. I'm Man. not going to be there for you. Yeah. Everyone going to have to stand before the judgment seat. And then he shall bow. I had this book when he went to hell. He had to confess and God brought him back into his body to testify of God's greatness. Thank you, Jesus. God's word is flawless, church. God's word is flawless. It all shall come to pass. We should live as God is coming today. As we prepare our heart for the long suffer, we should repent, God says. Repent and change, check our deeds and change our, change our evil ways. Turn away from the evil ways. Acknowledge Him with all your heart. Lean not unto your own sick self. Turn to Ephesians. Chapter 5. Verse 13. But all things that are reproof are manifest by the light. For who else shall ever do it make manifest of the light? How many of us have to be reproof of the light this morning? Amen. Amen? It says, but all things that are reproof, everything that has to be reproof, in every area of our life have to be reproof. 
the way you think has to be reproved. The way you walk has to be reproved. Your belief and faith has to be reproved. Your being here to take the Lord's Supper has to be reproved. Everything in your life has to be reproved in every area of your life. Not just this one area. So it's the conviction of the Holy Spirit by making it right today. As you take it a lot supper, you need to be reproved, making your heart right before God the Father and submit to Him and Him alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 14. Wherefore, He said, Awake! Here it is again. We read that earlier, right? He says, Awake! Thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise people. Redeem the time because the days are evil. What the Lord is saying, redeem the time for the day in evil. He said, redeem the time today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Redemption and redemption comes today. Tomorrow is not promised. Why worry about tomorrow? It's today there's so much evil going around the world and around our islands and around your life. Don't worry about tomorrow. Because today is so evil. We're seeing the manifestation of the world. Let us not walk, walk around as fools, it says. But let us be wise. Let us be a watchman. Let us be attentive what's going on. What is the signs and the, the wonders that God is showing? What is the dreams and the vision God has given you? God is telling you. He's preparing your heart for His coming back. Come on, somebody. God is preparing your heart for His return. Don't walk around like you're crazy and you're a fool. Walk around like you're wise because you know the word. Redeem the time because the day is evil. The world about tomorrow. Wherefore, be he not unwise, but understand what is the will of the Lord. What is the will of the Lord? God, God's will is that we prepare ourselves. Let us not be drunk with wine. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit and not drunk and relying. Let us be the watchman for God. Let us prepare your hearts and prepare yourself for the second coming of the Messiah. We want to be spotless and beautiful for God. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Are you guys hearing me? Amen. Yeah. Amen. We need to prepare yourself. Don't worry about tomorrow. Today is so evil. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 19, speak unto yourself, speaking unto yourself in hums and psalms and harm and spiritual song. You guys heard that? You didn't say worldly circular songs, right? It said spiritual song, not sexual lava and all these worldly other kind of songs of us and, and other things of the world. Amen? Amen. Amen. It says, sing those songs, spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. This is the key one. This is, uh, and he had his favorite scripture. Give thanks always for all things unto the Lord, the Father. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Always give God thanks and glory in everything, good and bad, to the storms, to the fires, to the dreams, to the visions, everything that we understand today is to give God the glory. Amen? Amen. Amen. Give God the glory for preparing our hearts this morning as we prepare to take the Lord's Supper. We need to make our heart Amen. God is coming, our heart is in the right place. Don't play God, church. Don't play God. Love God with all your heart, all your mind and soul. And love people. 
Amen, church? Amen. Don't play God. This is the time of repentance. God's word is flawless. It shall come to death. Every head bowed, every head eyes closed. Lord, we give you thanks always according to your scripture. We give you thanks for your message. Let us prepare ourselves, Father God, for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have an awareness, Father God, as you said in your word, Father God, in Job, that the chauffeur is the announcement of God's return. For people to take back our life. In Jesus' name, and we all say, Amen. The sound of chauffeur. If the chauffeur is blown, the enemy going into confusion. I'm going to tell you why. What we read earlier is that with the sound of a trumpet of God's return. So anytime that the trumpet is blown, the devil going into confusion like God is going to come right now. Amen. You go, oh, Jesus is coming back. I heard the chauffeur. <laughs> no, you get in the church building. For God to come back and take kingship over this world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.